Tucked away on Dallas's Deep Ellum Street between the pawn shops and storefronts is Harper's Bookstore. Its owner says there's never been a store like it in Dallas, and once inside, you'd have to say that would be a pretty safe bet. Stacked literally from the floor to the ceiling are some 400,000 second-hand books, magazines, and periodicals. And presiding over that musty disarray for 28 years has been musty old Lloyd Harper. There's no cataloging, but could Lloyd tell you where a specific volume is? Uh, yes. Almost just instantly. Thank I've you. had women to gasp over this. Well, how do you know that? Sometime I'd tell them yes or no before they got through. For instance, you might want an issue of National Geographic all the way back to 1947. How about the Army of Fun book, whatever that is? This one could come in handy, the Encyclopedia of U.S. Government Benefits. Lloyd just might have a secondhand something on everything, and he's never had any desire to sell new books. The secret of secondhand business and books that will come under that uh, is in not what you sell, it's in what you buy. It's in the buying, not the selling. And the secret of the buying is what you leave alone and don't buy it rather than what you buy. Everything you buy that you don't uh, sell, you just, well, you better keep the money in your pocket in the first place. Lloyd's packing it all up, selling it all out. Says it's time to change gears, work for someone else as a book buyer, do some traveling. So over the next few months, everything goes. But once he sets the price on a book, don't dicker. Lloyd says he's got a high tension level and just might blow a fuse. Besides, he says, the price is always right.